Oh my God. I just, oh, I just realized this is for like, this is like a precision ground surface. Well, I mean, well, fairly precision and you can hold cylindrical things in it and you can like drill it or you can clamp it and I recently got this in a lot of free things from a yard sale, actually a yard free, and I feel like restoring it because I always want things that are a nice flat surface to hold stuff, and whether it be cylindrical or flat, and this would be nice to have around the house because I also think it's just kind of neat and it has the chance to look really cool, especially if I go all out and really polish it up. that it's a stair you see it felt like quality and I was like you know what I should make it even cooler and I should sand it I'm not gonna be putting it into like a surface grinder or anything but I'll put it on like a piece of granite or float glass and I'm just gonna smooth up the surfaces because for what I need <laughs> most of my tools are from before 1910 for what I need I don't need to have it within a mill difference but I needed to have a cool look and by golly, the fact that it was made by the Stare Company. Well, that's cool, because I didn't know if this would just be like something that came from Harbor Freight and just happened to look nice, or if it actually was nice. Look at your wheel did to me. What was that? I'm trying to polish Oh, that's the polish. It was just like, right onto me. I was like, See, that thing is useless. <clears throat> Thank you. 
successfully cured, and it's difficult to remove this. So I painted it and I'm very happy with the finish. That's almost a perfect finish for brush painting, especially with a coarse brush. And I realized it just wasn't drying in this almost winter weather. So I've been putting it on this radiator at the apartment and it's been doing really well because it gets up to about 90 degrees and it took two days for it to really cure, but about one day in, I made sure to scrape some of the paint off to make it easier to clean up. And then I took it over to the glass shop again and I wire wheeled it after about four days. I wanted to make sure that it was quite rough. I wanted to make sure that the, the paint was quite cured. And I did make one little mistake. I accidentally grazed it and got a teeny tiny bit of paint off of it, but Oh well, I don't really care about that. Overall, I think this looks really nice. And then I also use the wire wheel to give it a nice, a nice surface to it. And then I took it home and I soaked it in WD-40. But then I realized I've done a lot of work to it, but I could make a little wooden box, but that wouldn't quite work. And so now I, I didn't film most of this because I didn't, didn't really know what was going to happen because I never sewn before and I didn't even look anything up. I just got some felt and some thread. I got an antique shop and started sewing. And well, next thing you know, I have this. And I decided to make a penny button for it. I was going to embroider a purple V on the front, but I realized the other thread that I got was way too thin. It's a fine, I'll use it for something else. But yeah, I just threw this together with random materials that I have, and it fits nicely. So this is my first time ever sewing something, and I think it's probably the, the best types of things to get started on because it doesn't need to be high quality, and honestly, it looks a little bit adorable just how it is. So I declare this has been finally furbished. And if I mess the paint up, who cares? I, I plan to paint stuff like this every few years anyway because the paint is just to protect it, just like the WD-40. And now, whenever I finish restoring my toolbox, all the tools will be put in there and stuff like this, that way they don't get scraped up and such. And they get held in a nice climate controlled area so they don't have any issues of rusting. Well, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little furbishment. And thank you very much for watching. See ya.